Hello, YouTube family. It's the Libra Man here. A little frustrated today, and I want to just share some things with you guys about my YouTube channel. So let's get started. I titled this video, The Struggles of Growing a YouTube Channel. And I did that for several reasons. When I first started this YouTube channel, I started it to make money. I know some of you out there are saying, hey, that's not the reason to do it. That's not. Let me tell you guys something, man. I was not familiar with YouTube whatsoever. I didn't know y'all's guidelines. I didn't know what y'all did. All I knew was it was an opportunity for me to develop an income. I didn't know about no 1,000 subscribers. I didn't know about no 4,000 watch hours. I didn't know about no algorithm or anything. So I was new at this, but I wasn't afraid to try something new and something different. Later on, by watching other people's videos and things of that nature, I realized that if your motivation is money when you first start YouTube, it's not going to work out very good for you. Well, that was my motivation. I watched other people's videos who had been doing this for a while, and I started learning some of the things about YouTube. And I made a decision back in December of last year that I did want to continue to do this, even though the things that I learned about how YouTube worked. I felt like I had something to offer you to, and I felt like I could talk about things that I had experience in, and if I didn't have experience in them, I knew that I could at least look things up and try to figure out what I was doing. So I started my channel based upon recovery from any type of substance abuse. I have 33 years of recovery. I thought that that's something that I had experience in. Mental health was one of the things that I wanted to start off my channel with because I, that's a field I've worked in for 27 years. I also knew about foster care. I had a child that was in foster care. I worked in foster care for 12 years. So I wanted to start bringing some awareness to foster care and some of the things that you can do in foster care and kind of things to look for if you're getting ready to take a child. And so I was eager to do that. I also was geared towards self-help, you know, your well-being, you know, taking care of self and doing things like that. So that was another thing that I wanted to start making videos on and how to take care of your mental health, how to take care of yourself, your physical self, and all those kind of things. So that was what I was interested in also. I didn't know anything about a niche, what a niche was. I had to learn those things along the way. Even though I had a broad range of things I wanted to discuss, I wanted to make sure that I was consistent about what I showed on my channel. I didn't want to be all over the place. So then I started learning about the YouTube platform itself. You know, how to navigate on there, how to even edit a video. I never edited videos before in my life. I just never had did anything like that before. But the thing about it for me was that if I didn't know how to do all of these things, then everything I learned here was a plus for me and a benefit for me to develop some skills on being able to do those kinds. I also knew that this was going to take time, but I didn't realize just how long it would take. You know, based upon a person that works a 40 hour a week job and has a part time job that he works every other weekend, 20 hours, I had to try to make time for YouTube. So I was not treating it like a business, I was treating it more like a and I noticed that the people that treat it more like a business that have the time to do all of those things seem to be, to me, more successful on their channels. I had to learn how to set aside time to be able to do the videos, but not just make the videos like I was doing at the beginning. I had to take time out to come up with ideals for the video, 
I had to take time with figuring out how to make thumbnails for the video, making a title for the video, you know, not just going into the video and then doing everything else afterwards. Um, I think there's a certain structure and certain way that it will benefit me better to do it. And I think by me writing things down and, and making it a little bit more structured increases the chances of me having a good performing video. There have been about two times that I thought about just quitting and just giving up. Although that is not something I'm normally used to doing in my life. The only things I've ever quit is things that were hindering me and things that would make me a better person by quitting them. Like when I stopped using drugs. You know, when I stopped taking in a lot of sugar. When I stopped using a lot of salt. When I stopped eating certain things. You know, those kind of quitting. But not ever quitting something that I was involved in that I thought would better me by continuing to do so. I want to say I really appreciate YouTube giving us a platform to be able to express ourselves in this way. I have no issues with YouTube at all. It's just my own personal journey that I've been struggling with. I have 185 videos, which is about 90 shorts, and I have 91 subscribers, and I've been doing this since November. Am I pleased with where I am from November to now? From on a personal note, no, I would like to be further. But I have to be grateful and I have to say, I have come a certain distance and I can see a little bit of improvement in my videos now opposed to when I first started. I want to say to anybody that's in my shoes stuff that is struggling with YouTube, that is trying to find their way. Don't give up. Just like I'm not going to give up. Do not give up. I think the reward and the benefit later on will be worth all of the work put in. Because I don't think none of those people that are up there with millions of subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, you know, um, different channels, did not put the work in in order to reach them. I don't think YouTube just gave them anything. So all of those creators that are out there, I thank you. Giving me something to look at, to showing me how to do things. You know, like putting B-roll in videos and using certain types of music and things. I had no clue. I'm still not good at it. And I don't know how to. I've not yet ever put B-roll in any of my videos. And I know certain things like that make people watch your videos for a longer period of time and not just click off of them because they're not interested. I'm still learning how to hold a person's retention to watch my videos. I feel like I have a lot to offer and a lot of positive things to say. I just have to make my videos a little bit more watchable. I want to thank the 91 people that subscribe to me. Trust me, I'm doing my best. I'm doing the best that I can. And I will continue to do so. The times that I thought about giving up, I thought about the subscribe. That person that would click on my channel, seeing what I'm doing, what I'm up to. What have I made with So I'm going to continue to do that. Because like a lot of those other creators said, you have to know your audience. You have to learn the audience. You have to learn when they're on YouTube. You have to learn the kind of things they like, what they want to hear from you. That's why every comment that somebody leaves me, I answer it back. Because I want them to know that I'm not just some person on the screen. That I'm a person. I'm a human being also. If you like anything I said in this video, hit the like button. Subscribe. I'm doing the best that I can. I'm going to have more videos coming. And 
I guess this was a little rant, but I'm still okay. Libra Man is out.